Everyone, Wes here. So I learned something really cool in CSS and I thought that I'd share it with you. I was on webdesignerdepot.com the other day and I hovered over a link and I got this woo -woo -woo kind of cool hover effect. And I thought, mm, that's really neat. I'd like to know how to do that. Uh, so I inspected it and I took a look and it's not any JavaScript. It's not any before or after pseudo element kind of uh, tricks there. It's actually just using background position, background image with a gradient as well as a transition. So I didn't totally understand it after looking at that. So I went ahead and rebuilt it uh, in CodePen and I thought I'd just show you uh, how that works. So here's the, the final thing that we're gonna be building where you hover over these links and you get this really cool uh, hover effect. And the beauty is that because links are inline elements, uh, they'll wrap onto multiple lines. And, and by default, like a background color would just go across the entire element. But because we're using uh, a linear gradient here and as a background image, it's just going to go from one line to another um, and we're going to be using background position and a trick with background size to get it to all work so uh, i've got a code pen right here where i've got it set up there's nothing none of this stuff is i'm writing it in stylus but you can write this in css or whatever it is that you'd like you can just click on view compiled if you're not sure what stylus is um and i'm going to go ahead and select each of these links so i've got these links here they have a class of fun hover uh, so I'm going to select those. And there's a couple things that we need to put on here. First one is that we need a background gradient. And you may be looking at this being like, that's not a gradient at all. However, the interesting thing about gradient is if you have a very hard stop in your gradient, it will just be one color uh, half the way and the other color the other half the way or, or 25 and 75 percent, however you set it up. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be setting up a gradient that is just two colors. And we're just going to switch them out depending on uh, the background position when we hover and when we not, we'll use transition to animate. So we'll so, say background image is a linear gradient. And then we're going to start to right. And the first one's going to be mint 50% and yellow 50%. We're going to end it off with. So let's give that a look. Okay. So here is the cool thing about it. What we did is we put the background of this element, 50% of it is going to be mint. And the other 50% is going to be yellow and you can see it there. However, that's actually not what we want because we want the one color to show up normally and then the other color showed up uh, when you hover. So the trick that the Web Designer Depot used there is they use background dash size 200%. And what that does is it will blow up, blow it up. And because this is uh, a gradient, it's not going to be pixelated or anything like that. Okay, cool. So that is now showing us just the first 50% of our gradient. And when we hover, we want to show the other 50% of the gradient. So and then go ahead and say, and hover. So, or if you're just doing regular CSS, it'd be dot fun hover, sorry, fun hover, colon hover. But we're going to do it here. When you hover, the background dash position is going to be a hundred percent. So essentially what we're going to do is when you hover over one of these things, there we go. We're taking the entire background and shifting it over 100% of its width. Okay, cool. So now we're, we just got a regular hover right here. Um, but we know that we can say uh, transition, background dash position, um, 0 0.5 seconds. So what that's going to do is it's going to trans transition the background position uh, over half a second. So I hover and there we go. Looks like it's, it's working, but now it's going backwards. So a quick fix for that is just put negative 100 on the background position, and then it will go from start to finish rather than finish uh, to start. So it's looking cool. Um, one other little cool thing that you can do right there is I'm using two colors to, to clearly show that I'm animating from one part of the uh, gradient to the other. However, I could take uh, that initial mint color and just change it to transparent. And then you'll have nothing until you actually hover and then the animation comes on in. So really nice, smooth animation. It might be a little bit uh, jerky here on the video just because uh, I don't get the frame rate that you do by seeing it, but kind of a really cool uh, animation trick that you can do just with, by using background size and a linear gradient. So let me know if you enjoy this. If you'd like to see anything else, I'm at Westboss on Twitter and westboss.com. Thanks a lot.